Hey guys, Joseph here. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm a big fan of LG TVs, but I've never used their own app. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set it up and how the app works with the TV and also how can you hook up other devices to your TV. So let's get right into this video, guys. Let's do this. All right. So now, first of all, I'm going to install the app. So we're going to go into the store. And we're going to press LG Thank You. And then we're going to install the app. Now let's open up the app. We're usually going to have to sign in. And here's going to give you like a little tour of the app device control, discover, smart diagnosis. These are all the little things that you can do right here in the app. And then we have to sign in. So now I usually log in with my Google account. And right here, we're going to have to put our phone number and then it's going to send a verification code. And then we put the verification code right here while using the app, allow, allow some preferences. So now that we're here in the app, we're going to add devices. In this case, my smart TV and already detected. Look at that LG WebOS. And then it's going to send a verification code to my TV. In this case is six three, four, one, two, one, four, five, and then just press OK. And we are setting up. Now that we're logged in, you can also add a smart speaker or Bluetooth speaker, just in case if you have that. In my case, I don't. And then we're going to uh, press OK. Welcome experience a simpler and more convenient way to use your TV. He's going to give us a little tour. We can also use a voice commands just in case if you want that. I will show you just in a little bit here. You can search for TV programs or movies. Very easy to do. And well, there's also a touchpad just in case if you want to do that. And that's it. We get started. And that is how you log in your TV to the app. I really like how the app is so easy to use right over here. They give you suggestions that you can watch either on your TV or on your phone. Now, right here, we have apps which you can organize. We also have widgets. You can also screen mirror your, your phone to your TV. We have inputs and then we also have the remote control access. So just in case if you lose your remote control from your TV, you can always use the app to control your TV. Now we press right here on remote control. The phone turns into a whole remote control. You can even use a touchpad to control your TV, similar to the um, remote from the TV. It has the pointer right there and you can just choose whatever you want from the TV. Also, there's volume, there's channel. You can go to settings, you can go back, you can go home. There's also voice commands. So there's a lot of things that you can do with the remote control similar to the one that you have, but now it's on your phone. Now from here, you can navigate to all the apps that you have here you have so many different options. But for example, we can go to Prime Video and you can start watching your favorite shows from Prime. I was watching Tulsa King. I highly recommend this show. It's so nice. And there's some new episodes already available. If you guys want to navigate even more, there's so many options here. We can switch to different inputs as well. But I also wanted to show you that we can even do screen share. So let's put that. Don't show this again. While well, using this app, we can even yeah, just yes, so yes, let's do the yes. Start now. So now you guys should be able to see screen mirroring from your phone on your TV. And look at that. It's really, really simple. I really like this, even though I have a Samsung phone, but you can still mirror everything on your LG TV. So for example, let me show you this little video that I have here on my phone. You can just watch it or whatever you want to watch on your TV, photos, videos, anything you want, you can mirror it from your phone to your TV. We also have access to HDMI ports. In this case, I have the Xbox Series X connected on port number one. And if we click on that, we go straight to our console. Also, if you open up the remote controller, you get access to all the gaming features. For example, the game bar, and you can see the FPS, 
the uh, HDR, VRR, you can even access more options in Game Optimizer. So pretty much everything that you can do with the remote control, you can do it with the app as well. Another cool feature that I like is sound share. So what it does is that you can connect your phone to your TV using Bluetooth. And once you do that, you can listen to the music that you have on your phone. So for example, press play right here and then you can listen to the music on your TV. Another really cool function are my lists. So if you have some favorite TV shows, you can go into my list and save them right there. For example, I have The Penguin, Fight Night, Deadpool, the new movie. In order for you to save something from my list, so you can go over here into this search and then they give you some suggestions. That's why I have The Penguin here. But for example, let's say that you want to save The Voice, right? From, uh, from Amazon Prime Video. I just click on that and there it is, the voice. So we're gonna click on that and then just add to favorite and that's it. So now, whenever we go into my favorite list, you're gonna see it right here. So you don't have to go to the app and open up everything. No, nothing. You have you can go straight from your uh, my list favorite TV shows and just start watching it from there. This is a really nice function that you cannot get from the regular remote controller. It's only available right here through the app. Now, in addition to search TV content, you can also do voice commands. So if you press the little microphone here, show me Batman movies. Are the results from Batman. Which one of these would you like to view? So now that you're here, they give you different options to play the movies that you like or TV shows. You also have the option to watch on TV or to watch on your phone. So just in case if you want to use their TV but you still want to watch some TV show, you can have the option to watch it on your mobile and just click on watch your mobile and there you have it. You start playing directly on your phone. Another really nice function is the apps. You can have your favorite apps right here on top. In this case, I have Netflix, Prime Video, Max, YouTube. So you can set your favorite apps to be the first four ones. As you guys can see, I already have mine selected. So this is really nice and really uh, functional if you want to go jump in straight to those apps. Another function that I like about this app is the widgets. So widgets are just little shortcuts that you can add to your phone. And you have two options here. For example, you can add at the TV remote control or my list widget. So in this case, I already have one added. I have the TV remote control. And as you guys can see, it's right here. So you can put it anywhere you want on your phone, put it on this last page. All you have to do is just power on the TV or if you want, just click on that and it will open the app right away. And then you can just start navigating through the app. You can go back into the remote controller and that's it. There are other functions that I think that are really nice. For example, the new remote control has NFC. So all you have to do is just to put the controller closer to your phone and it will automatically switch to the remote control and also always on display which is a function that works on newer tv models so if you have a newer tv from uh, lg make sure you use those really nice and useful functions and last but not least if you exit out from the app you can go over here into the menu section and here you find product information and warranty so just in case if you lose your receipt or just want to find out more information about your tv this is where you find it so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for stopping by and i also want to say thanks to lg for sponsoring this video at least i mean for me this is really helpful because I, even though I've been using LG TVs for the longest time, I never thought of using the app. And now that I found out some of those features, I think they're going to be very helpful to me. At least like the lists, those are the ones that I'm probably, probably gonna use the most because sometimes I go and watch TV shows and then I forget about them. Now with the list, I wanna be guys just going straight to those lists and start watching, continue watching. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.